Hello everyone. Welcome to How to Balance Channel. In this exercise, we are going to look at the steps involved in performing pre-upgrade checks on a database, uh, on a 122 database, which is planned to be upgraded to 19C. So 19C pre-upgrade checks we are planning to perform on a 122 database. But where are we going to perform? We are going to perform on a snapshot standby database. You may wonder why we wanted to perform it there. Oracle pre-upgrade checks will fail on a database which is having database vault enabled. So, or it will report it as an exception. I don't want that exception. So, I'm going to disable my database vault in the snapshots database, snapshot standby database, and then I'll perform the pre-upgrade checks. That is what the whole purpose is. I'll show you the real steps involved. And I'll also show you the difference between the primary database with vault and the stand snapshot standby database without the vault. Let's look at it. <coughs> so this is the pre-upgrade checks we are performing. So primary database has vault on, TD on, but snapshot standby database has vault off, TD on. Alright, so let's get started. We have two environments. This is the primary DB. So you see everything in white is primary. And uh, here you have the standby. So this is standby. This is primary. Though both are running in the same server. So let me see what state the database is in. <coughs> Before we launch the pre-upgrade check, it needs to be in rewrite mode. Yeah? See, yeah, it's primary. Fine. Let's launch the pre-upgrade check here. <coughs> Let me verify if this directory exists. Yeah, it does. Now let's launch it. So this is a pre-upgrade jar file. So I'm running the pre-upgrade jar on jar pre-upgrade jar on the source database with the output directory upgrade jar check for okay let me run this okay let the, it will take few minutes in the meantime I'll launch this pre-upgrade check in the snapshot standby as well I'll show you how it will look I just want to check which mode the DB is in first. It's in mounted state. So I'll open this. You will see it's snapshot standby. Okay. So the database is in open state and it's a snapshot standby. We verified this. and db in the intended state yeah let's quickly verify that It's false, so that vault is in disabled state. Key vault or key wallet. So this is in open state, so open and auto login. Yeah, it's it's enabled. So we verified these two settings. This is what our upgrade pre-check so I'm going to upgrade this DB right so this is a condition in which it has to be and uh, let's perform the pre-upgrade check we need this directory to be available I already created this directory so now it exists we're using the same pre-upgrade jar 
I launched it. So the pre upgrades are finished in the primary database. Let's go over the pre upgrade log. What are its recommendation? So it says pre upgrade fix up, post upgrade fix up. Pre upgrade, you need to run it before the upgrade. Then post upgrade, we need to run it after the upgrade. Oh my god, we are going to overwrite this. So no, we will write it in a different directory, right? It's upgrade pitch check, so I wrote it to a different directory. <laughs> then, good. So, report generated an Oracle database pre upgrade tool information. So, GGSRC040. Database is an Oracle log mode. Read only files, enterprise edition is. Yes. This is the only components I have. All of these are valid for upgrade. Uh, DB recovery file does this is set to. Okay, it recommends. Uh, I have set it to one GB, but it needs to be set it to three GB or four GB. I'll change it anyway in the when I do the real upgrade. Auto login. Yes, I need to ensure key wallet is copied. The key wallet is copied to the target, which I will do auto login wallet. Dictionary stats is okay. I'll perform this. So these are informational purpose. Right. So we need to sync this stand bit database. Alright. Recovery manager. Pre upgrade fix up and post upgrade. Okay, database. Alright. <coughs> Time zone upgrade. and the uh, DBA directories, symbolic links all these are known, dictionary stands after the upgrade fixed object stands after the upgrade <coughs> clear, but so uh, surprisingly it did not call out any issues with the database vault Okay, but really I have looked at the oracle document already the MOS note which talks about uh, database upgrade steps and in that they specifically called out you should not have database vault enabled you have to disable it before the upgrade so maybe that's the reason why it didn't say anything about it but for me I need a I'm not going to actually perform an upgrade of the primary or standby I'm going to copy this database over to another location and I'm going to do the upgrade there so I, do, I cannot have the vault running when I perform the backup so so let's run this db upgrade diag also to verify if it reports something this is a diag output directory let it run ok it finished let's quickly go through this ok ggsrg040 64 bit edition ok to do Alright, add it as try this DB false R dollar is in system table space fine Oracle label secret is installed key, key messages are zero time zone version is twenty six okay this is our listener these are the default table spaces these are encrypted table spaces all are twelve to one valid no invalid objects. Alright, 64 bit no duplicate object. No password protected rules. JVM not installed. No Java based rules users. No Java based rules. No invalid object in sysr system user. Okay, this looks clean. I'll, uh, okay, now we have finished the pre upgrade check in this standby as well let's look at it how it looks snapshot standby database name again ggsr 040 but it is snapshot standby guys all are valid so it again complains about db recovery field list <coughs> and auto login on tde which i will ensure i copy dictionary stats needs to be done and uh, yeah table space are auto extend on so i don't have to worry and uh, recovery catalog upgrade needed yeah it's fine 
So it's recommending about pre-upgrade fixer. This is also fine. And uh, yeah, post upgrade time zone upgrade. If you put the table space in read only mode, I think you need to run this script, but I'm not going to do that. Time zone upgrade and then uh, symbolic links again for the DBA directories, dictionary stats, and fixed object stats after the upgrade. Alright, these are the issues that it also complains about, but it also did not say anything about um, both primary and stand be reported the same set of uh, challenges so it didn't show any difference guys so to the surprise let's check uh, how this one looks as part of the pre-check it finished let me take a look <coughs> So again the same database name, 64 bit database, compatibility to do. You can see the RK log sequence number is 11. One, one. It began because I put this in snapshot stand be mode, so that's the reason. Audit dump test. So audit trail is writing to OS, it's not writing to the DB. This is very important. So it's not causing any issues. <coughs> to the but it can still revert back. I don't know why snapshot stand database has to write audit trails to OS. Read only, I understand. You, in the physical stand you cannot have it in, a, in the DB because it will cause issues, right? So it has to write to OS. But snapshot stand I think this parameter never turns back. I think it wants it, it's it. That's all. It never looks at uh, whether the database is in snapshot stand or a physical stand because Oracle never looked at uh, investigating this part, I think. Which is fine because snapshot runway is not for a permanent solution, it's only for a interim solution, right? So having it in OS or in the DB is still okay. ST database is fine. System table space or dollar is okay. Oracle label security install is message user zero, yeah. Time zone version twenty six. Local listeners none is still good. Alright, so is all okay so just to tell you the data inside this table spaces are protected by database vault uh, so and there are some set of rules which protects the dictionary users as well so that's the reason oracle says you should be actually disabling the database vault no invalid objects in the sister system database also doesn't have any invalid objects no duplicate object in the DB system system. Password protector rules. No, <coughs> no password protector rules. JVM. No Java based user, Java based rules. No invalid object in Java because we don't have Java component at all. So it looks good. Multimedia and uh, intermedia is also looking good. So the pre-upgrade check came clean. They were assembling for the primary as well as snapshot standby. There is not much difference as I expected. Which is quite a surprise for me. But all at the end, uh, database mode needs to be disabled in a database where the upgrade should happen. And I took a backup of this snapshot standby database and I'm going to restore it and uh, perform the upgrade using uh, open upgrade uh, reset logs mode. So thanks guys, thanks for joining with me and I hope you like this video. If you like, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to Hope to Villain channel. Thank you. Bye.